with breast lifting or yes. breast reduction right. uh, on these mommy makeovers. Lots of questions you say, a lot of fears about incisions or scarring. What right. do you do to minimize uh, that on these breast lifts? And, and what do you want women to know about this? Yeah, so again, um, when I do breast lifts, I do them a little differently, just like I do the tummy tuck a little differently. Um, traditionally, we, what we used to do is we made incisions and we lifted the skin and we then used the skin to reshape the breast and sewed everything up. And the problem with that is there's a lot of tension on that skin and that tension then causes thicker scarring. And so nowadays, well, what I do is very different. Um, I reshape the breast internally. So we do make some incisions in the skin, minimal incisions. We elevate the skin. We then actually cut and reshape the breast tissue and reshape that tissue. So the breast itself becomes more rounded, almost like an implant in a lift, okay? If you understand what happens as you age with the breast, the volume from the top goes down and flattens out, and then they get heavier at the bottom, and the breast gets wider. So we actually do a procedure, I do a procedure that narrows the breast, okay, and makes it a bit younger, narrow, and not as wide and flat. Mm -hmm. and it takes the lower tissue that's at the bottom hanging down now and actually pulls it up to the top. So it gives you a fuller kind of cleavage up top, and then we kind of close this little cone. So it kind of narrows the base and creates more projection, which is what a younger breast is. Then we just basically lightly close the skin with very little tension, so the scars heal almost almost perfectly. It's very hard to see them. And then they look amazing. They've got this beautiful fullness in their bikini, beautiful fullness in their bras, when they wear dresses. They've got such projection now. They almost look like they've had an implant without an implant. So that's how I do my lifts. And reductions are similar. The reduction, we do the exact same thing, but we are taking some tissue out because a woman wants their breast to be a little smaller. Okay. And then, obviously, there's the other side of the coin where a woman wants to go bigger. And in that situation, we're actually putting an implant in. And if they want to, if they put a big enough implant, they don't have that much sagging, we can get away with just an implant and no lift. But sometimes, if they have too much sagging and the implant itself is not enough, then we have to do an implant plus a lift. So really the options are lift alone, implant alone, or both. And it really depends on what they want. So when he, that's why it's very important for us to sit down in the office, plan it out, show the photos, and look at, I can, show, I can show a woman what she's gonna look like right away. We can actually shape her breasts with our hands. And we actually th have, is that right? Yeah, and we have 3D imaging available too that we can actually 3D image them and show them what they're going to look like with a lift, with an implant. These are all things that we can do in the office.